Hey, what's up, guys? Little Man of the Big Opinion here. In front of me, I have three different Sawyer Mini products. And the point of this video is going to talk about water purification and, you know, what you need to have, what you might need to have extras of, and just, you know, the general ideas of it. So, if this is new information to you, then... Subscribe to the channel because I post videos like this nearly every day where I bring new content to you. Like the video if you enjoy the content from that video. And lastly, share it with your friends and family. Because if you didn't know about this, uh, that means one of two things. They weren't talking to you about it, so you weren't learning about it. So that means you should share it with them. That way both of you know this information. So... Water purification, it is very, very important because if you drink bad water, you can deal with illnesses and you can look throughout several conflicts through human history. The Civil War is a really good example. More soldiers died from the infection after getting shot in several of the battles than actually dying from the bullet wound itself. Tens of thousands of Americans, um, you know, were considered casualties in the wounded section in uh, the Pacific because they never got shot, but they came down with, you know, dysentery, um, you know, stomach bugs, extreme diarrhea, vomiting, that sort of thing from the elements. And a lot of it came from the conditions that they were in and, you know, the water that they were consuming. I personally like the Sawyer Mini over other options out there. Um, Life Straw essentially does the same thing. They just don't have nearly the same um, gallons filter guarantee that the Sawyer does. Uh, I know the Red Cross makes one. Again, it doesn't have the same high level of guarantee as the Sawyer Mini. Um, and there are bigger options, but we're going to stick with something that, you know, this can sit in your vehicle. This can go in your bug out bag. Some of the bigger options aren't going to be able to do that. So the next thing that I'll add, this one, this is all it came with. Um, this one is made to screw on top of a bottle and I'm pretty sure coke bottles are one of the ones that it will do it with I know it does it with smart bottles yep it'll screw on top of a coke bottle so it has a you know arrow saying it should flow this way but there's only a spot to screw it on here so you can purchase this Depending on your area, it's going to run you between $20 and $25. Rinse out your old bottle that, you know, we're all drinking sodas. And you can now, you know, make sure you've got nice, clean drinking water. I've seen a lot of people do it with smart water bottles because it's right at that one liter amount. You can reuse that smart water bottle dozens of times. Uh, and there are water bottles out there that are made for this to screw on top of. I'm trying to think if I have one sitting here. And I don't. But, you know, some of my favorite bottles are Nalgene bottles. Uh, they make, you know, this is the, the wide mouth cap. But they make a narrow mouth cap that this will screw on top of as well. You know, I have the, like, 15 I have sitting up there. None of them are the narrow mouth. And I don't see any of my narrow mouth over there. But this is one of the most, you know, efficient and effective ways to make sure you can get clean water. If the water is flowing, you fill this bottle up, you attach this. It's kind of like a straw and... You know you drink out of it this one um 
I'm pretty sure this is one of their older models. Uh, but this one came with a uh, bag adapter. That way you could, you know, they, they came with like a 16 ounce collapsible bag. Uh, but this end and also this end is designed to work with a lot of camel bags. This is just like in your home. The water comes into your home, it hooks up to a system, it comes out the other end, you've got nice clean water. I think this one is like 20 to or 25 to 30 dollars and you know you take your camel back, you hook it up, now you're making sure that that water is safe to drink and it allows you to you know go with a larger amount of water. And then this last one is kind of a blend of both of them. And it comes with a couple of other uh, attachments. If you, you know, haven't read the package already. And I think this one was 40. Uh, gravity water filtration system. So it comes with a one gallon water bladder. The Sawyer Mini. A little clip that you can, you know, hang it from a tree a longer downspout hose, uh, a cleaning couplet, a hose guide, and a cleaning plunger, which some of their other models didn't really come with this, but they also have pictures on here, you know, using it from hanging, put it on a flat surface, attaching it to a bottle, or uh, attaching it to a camel bag. Uh, so you get all these pieces for this and what's great about this is the Sawyer Mini is going to filter down to uh, 0.1 microns. It's going to filter out, you know, there's a bunch of words that I don't remember uh, and I should have looked it up and figured out how to uh, pronounce it, but 99% of bacteria, salmonella, uh, cholera, E. coli, uh, higher rates of removal for bacteria, and protozoa. Y'all can make fun of me in the comment section down below. I'm a history teacher, not an English teacher. And so, uh, this one is what I would say more for like a bug out location because you have someone get you like we have several collapsible five gallon water containers you exert all of this effort to get them to your location and then you fill up your bladder and you let gravity you know let it flow down into something else uh, like if you've never used a Sawyer product, you know, it's not just like a straw where it's going to flow straight through. It's going through several layers of a filter and, you know, it's going to take a little bit of time. It's not just, you know, it's just going to magically flow through. Something to keep in mind um, with your Sawyer products, uh, I have found that it makes it last longer is filtering the water through something else, especially if there's a lot of sediments. These are going to stop those sediments, but it can clog them up quicker. So whether it's paper towel, coffee filter, a cloth, another filtration system, like if you set up, you know, the survival one where it's, uh, you know, big rocks, charcoal, sand, and like cheesecloths and filtered it through that first and then ran it through here you're just going to increase increase your quality of water depending on your water source you might not even use this like we have a spring-fed creek out on our bug out property the water comes out tasting amazing its filtration is natural going through everything through the ground um, if we figured out that someone was, you know, dumping feces a hundred yards away from the creek, you know, maybe we might think 
differently and, you know, focus on, you know, trying to filter it better. Uh, something else that you can do in combination is boil the water. Heat kills a lot of different things. That's why we get fevers. Our body increases its temperature to kill whatever's not supposed to be in it. And then there's also water purification tablets, you know, getting an iodine tablet and, you know, something that kills the taste of iodine. Having all of those things is, you know, doubling and tripling up on making sure the water is safe to drink. Because what these won't filter is some viruses, chemicals, and heavy iron deposits. It'll filter some iron, but nowhere near enough that, you know, a high iron dense area might affect the way the water tastes. So you might want to set up a, you know, this is your secondary that, you know, gets it down to the one, one micron, but you run your water through something else first. Um, something that they do promote, and I kind of forgot to mention it earlier, is it does filter out 100% of microplastics. So if you were doing some sort of, you know, desalination with salt water and you're worried about microplastics, these will filter them out. The last thing I'll say about these is, you know, they say 100,000 gallons of water. That's a lot of water. If you're doing it in a very heavy sediment area, you're going to lower that amount. Uh, so think about the cheesecloth or a coffee filter. That way, these have a little bit longer life. And also, when they talk about, you know, plunging them, every once in a while, especially if you use these often, you are just going to want to shoot just good old clean water through them. And it ha kind of, you know, with every filter, just like your car filter, you know, they say replace them after so many thousand miles. You can kind of extend that a little bit by, you know, knocking off a bunch of the dust because it's been clogged up for a while. You clean it up a bit and you can kind of push its life a little bit more. Uh, there are bigger stuff that you can go with like we've got a Berkey water system that's like a I don't remember how many gallons it, it, it is but it's more than the one gallon that this is and it's gravity fed it's got filters very similar to this that also cleans your water but that's kind of a, a larger scale thing I don't remember how much these things weigh and I don't think this package can tell me what just the filter weighs. It might say it on the inside, but this is ounces worth. This is something that everyone in your group should carry. For their price, they're fairly inexpensive. This is one of those things that if you're prepping on a budget, you go, you pick up one, you set it to the side the next month or whenever you get paid. I say month because I get paid monthly. You go pick up another one. Maybe you wait a few months after that. You put your your uh, prepping budget towards food or ammo or you know other prepping things. Then you go pick up another one. Um, I've got another one in my bug out bag. I've got one that I keep in my vehicle. I will say you know, the last bit of information is this O-ring on the inside, they can dry and crack. So it's a good idea. You know, the ones that I keep in my house, every once in a while, I'll take them to the sink. Turn the water on, let some water flow through it. It kind of moisturizes them a bit. And, you know, it can prevent that from cracking and you dealing with leaks. But... I don't want to keep rambling on. I think I've provided all the information that you need to know. But if there's anything else you'd like to add, you can always add it in the comment section down below. Again, like the video if you enjoy this content. Uh, I have ordered a microphone for my phone. 
it wasn't Amazon Prime, so it's going to take, you know, five to seven days to come in. But hopefully, audio-wise, you know, the quality is going to go up. That being said, I'm putting in more effort to make these videos better. So definitely subscribe and share the channel with your friends and family. Because hopefully, as long as my son's sleep schedule stays the same, I'll be able to keep making these videos at 10 o'clock at night. But all that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.